everybody it's Sharon from blessed to craft designs and I'm here today to show you a different kind of tumbler that I'm working on um, and I have all the supplies here so that you can see what I'm doing I have not tried this before so you are seeing this firsthand with me okay so you are definitely on a journey with me so you're gonna have to kind of buckle up and you know kind of go the waves and the bumps with me and, and what it is I'm going to try the alcohol ink tumbler um, I showed you the very last video that I did was this one which is this is one of just the Dollar Tree plastic this is a plastic tumbler um, <coughs> excuse me and this right here this kind of cheetah print is um, fabric Okay, I have to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then I put some uh, vinyl on here. This is actually glitter vinyl um, that's Cricut. And I kind of messed up right here. This was mine. Uh, again, this was the first time I've done this on plastic. The other one that I did was this one, which is, as you can see, it's on metal. And that one came out really pretty. Both of them did, I think. This one is only for cold stuff, though. Um, I posted this on the Cricut, um, the Facebook page or whatever, and somebody asked about um, sweating and how does that work. And at first I thought that the bottom, it, it did sweat. The ice, water, and everything didn't do anything to it. It's still on there. I have not seen any cracking or anything, so... If you wanted to try this kind of a um, inexpensive way to personalize some tumblers, this is plastic, and it worked really well for me. Um, that's a total of about three coats of epoxy. So this is the tumbler that I'm going to use today. I wanted to show it to you, um, Bed Bath and Beyond, and I think I bought these on sale. I am going to take. So th this is what you're going to need. You're going to need your metal tumbler. I'm going to use this Krylon, uh, just flat white um, spray paint. Um, as always, this is what I've been using. A lot of people ask me, well, what, um, what epoxy do you use? And this is the one that I use. This is, I think this is the front. This is the front, I think. And I purchased this from Michael's several months ago I mean I've had it forever I mean I'm almost out of it now just because I've been using it quite a bit for um, these tumblers and everything uh, I did purchase the alcohol inks the Jim um, Holtz alcohol inks and these are amethyst I can't read that other one uh, but as you can see, it's like the dark purple, the blue, and then the pink. I'll turn them around later on. Um, I also have the alcohol ink applicator felt. And you can probably just buy regular felt for this. But I tried to make sure for the first time that I'm getting everything that I've actually seen other people use. And this is the alcohol blending solution. Again, these are all, I think it's Tim Holtz. I said Jim, but looks like uh jim i don't know but anyway i don't buy a whole lot of his stuff i know it when i see it but i wanted to make sure i have everything that people say i needed to have so what i'm going to do is take all of this off of here i am going to take the top of this because i'm going to spray paint all the way down up until here but i want to make sure that i take the top um because i don't want anything to happen you know around where people will put their mouth and everything I don't want to do that so I definitely want to make sure I protect this and I'll probably just start right there there's a line right there as you can see so I'm, I'm pretty excited about doing this I've seen some really pretty um, tumblers done with this technique so I, I definitely want to try it. I like a good challenge. So I thought, okay, well, let's see what happens. Usually if something does not come out right, I just keep it for myself. <laughs> if it does come out right, then 
I put it up for sale. Um, maybe not that particular one, but you know, I will start selling them on my website and my Facebook page. Okay, so I want to make sure that this is all taped really well. And I don't know how I'm going to do this um, because, you know, I have my little handy dandy um, paintbrush uh, holder, a foam roller thing that I use for my tumblers. I don't know how I'm going to do this because the mouth of this tumbler is very narrow. Okay, so I tape mine down really well. I just don't want anything to get underneath there. That epoxy, it does run pretty good. So you have to kind of be careful with that. All right, so I'm going to tape one more time at the top. Maybe I should tape one at the bottom. Just to make sure that nothing is going to seep through there. Okay. So I think that's down pretty good. And then I'm going to tape around the bottom of this. got words on it but hopefully that won't do anything when I get ready to spray paint it so I'm just trying to line this up as straight as possible straightness and centering are not my strong points at all <laughs> so we'll see how this goes and I'm kind of pulling this tape kind of tight, so I make sure that it's down there flat and it's actually adhering to the tumbler. Okay. So I think that's down, and then you're supposed to also make sure you get the kind of the under part of the tumbler also. So... So after I do this, I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to head outside and spray paint some tumbler and let it dry for several hours. It's pretty humid outside, so it may not take it that long to dry, but I definitely um, will give it at least about an hour or so to make sure that it is dry before I start putting that the alcohol inks on there so let me just tape around this one more time okay so I think that's got it I don't know. I'm almost tempted to put another one because I did see a video. Oh, let me give this disclaimer. I'm not the originator of this. Um, there, it's being done quite a bit. I'm just having my little try at it. Um, and I think I remember I watched somebody that did this and this tape started coming off with that alcohol ink. Um, so I think I'm just going to put one more um layer of tape around here i've actually seen a couple of people do these not with just the tumblers but um you know the dollar store or whatever little you know family dollar or somewhere like that you can buy just plain coffee mugs you know all different colors white blue green or well, pretty much white i think i've seen um and people have used these alcohol inks on those as well so it doesn't have to be the metal tumbler. All right. So I have both ends nicely taped. 
and I'm going outside to spray paint with this let it dry and I will be right back okay everybody I'm back and I have spray painted my um, my tumbler and you can see I have a few imperfections there where I got a little too close with the spray paint this actually has only dried for maybe about 45 minutes the um, directions on it said that it needed to wait um, I think it said like 10 minutes is supposed to be fast drying but to make sure because this is two coats of um, just white flat paint I want it to wait at least about a good 45 minutes so I think it's dry where I can go ahead and start um, I've opened up everything here um, I'm gonna kind of see how this goes everything's been opened up I wish I had something to turn for me but I don't um, here are the colors the amethyst this is where is it patina and then last is the flamingo okay so I have, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing but what I think I'm going to try is to um, start with maybe what would be the lighter color first and just start making kind of random drops please make sure that you um, protect whatever workplace you're using um, I have a couple of things down here that I'm using so I'm just gonna kinda I wish my little handy dandy turner that I made uh, would work on this but the part right here the mouth part is a little too small it won't work so I'm just gonna keep adding and see what happens I think at the very last minute I mean when I get done with this part I guess I'll add the um, the blending a little bit later I'm just trying to get my colors on here again I have no idea what I'm doing don't know if this is gonna come out right don't know how this is going to look <laughs> so far it does not look good but the blending part has not taken place yet okay so let's let add some purple Ooh, a little bit too much here and there and I wanted to add the purple last because it's such a darker color I was hoping that it would blend a little bit more than what it's doing but maybe I have to add the other part to do that I think I want to add just a little bit more blue and oh I also if you can see I have gloves on too um, I just didn't want to get this all over me And it is starting to blend together a little bit more now that I've added more. And alcohol inks dry. I think they dry pretty quick. So that might be the key to this. There we go. Starting to blend a little bit better now. It's kind of woo kind of hard to get the hang of this and I'm glad I did I put lots of um, tape around the top of this all right, so that was the pink. Let's add some more of the kind of green color. Ooh, 
Okay, not too bad. I can see it's got potential. Okay, I don't know if I want to add too much more purple. Woo, sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to... Let me see what happens if I just add this on there without the dots. Oh, okay. Can you see how it's blending? Oh, neat. Okay, that might be a little bit too much, though. Let's try putting it on one of the pads and then let's see what happens that way okay that kind of breaks it up a little bit okay see that that is so neat okay I have a little bit too much purple down here but I like the way it looks with this little pad right here I like that effect to it Okay, I just kind of need to cover, I think I need to cover up some more of this white. Ooh. How pretty is that? Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Do you see how that's spreading like that? Let's see if I add a little bit of blue. Well, that's actually kind of a green, but I'm trying to cover up some of these old white spots. I don't want all of that. I don't like all this purple. It's a little too... It's kind of dark to me. I would rather have more of the... the green and the pinks let me see if i add some more of this what will happen this is the neatest stuff right here i just want to pour this whole bottle out of here and see what happens i know you all are thinking what in the world is she doing and the answer to that would be i don't know oh look i've got too much purple there so you definitely have to keep turning it Okay, it's almost kind of like that epoxy. If you let the epoxy sit, it kind of pulls um, you know, under the bottom. Whoa. This definitely takes lots of practice, okay? Um, unless you're just, you know, maybe if you're some kind of artist and you're used to using things like this. Let me see if I can. That is actually pretty cool right there. Let's see if I can take some of this off. This one was just a dry one. Maybe I can kind of blend it in a little bit better on the cup with this rather than to keep pouring because I really do want to kind of close in some of these white spots so let's see how this works this side looks really pretty with all the blue and the purple that has a really cool design to it Tell you one thing if I if I did these just kind of um, you know as far as something adding to my business you def I don't see how you could do you know the same each one of these would would be different I'm pouring some more of this uh, the blending solution on here just to see if I can what I can do up here uh, I might have messed that up a bit putting too much 
it definitely will take on a unique look and I'm probably going to have to add some more that looks kind of neat though okay all of my this pink color kind of keeps getting washed out so take another one of these see what we can do actually looks pretty cool I kind of like that here let me try one more with um some of the solution on here let me see solution just kind of lightens it up a little bit I don't know if I like that part. No, I don't. Okay, so I don't like what those little parts did. So let me see how I can fix this. It's a little odd now. I may have messed that up a little bit. And once you dab it, it looks like it kind of starts blending together again a little bit on its own I hope I'm getting this um, where you can really see it on the screen has this neat kind of marbled look to it. And then when you add more, it actually takes away what was there before. I don't know if you can see it got really white where I added that. So maybe I almost have to kind of let it dry a little bit. I'm doing all kind of experimenting here, y'all. So, yeah, every time you add more to it, I think the alcohol in there, it reactivates it. Let's see if I can get one that's got some of that stuff on there. It kind of reactivates it again, so... I'm trying to fix that part because I, I, I like I'm starting to like it um see if I can fix this part right here that I feel like and look it's still spreading I don't know if you can see that it kind of spreads out on its own see that when you touch it 
kind of start spreading on its own so every time you touch it the alcohol kind of reactivates it again but it's really cool what's happening to it when you do that I don't know with my light if you can really even see kind of what's going on with that but it's really neat and I'm gonna see if I can work on the top here a little bit more okay everybody I'm back and here is the dried um, what I've done so far I don't know these gloves may not work I might have to switch to the other gloves give me just a second but this is the dried um, uh, alcohol ink on here right now and I did put a little bit of glitter on here I'm sure you can see that sparkle right there um, I just took a little bit of Mod Podge and I, th I don't know if I did it with a brush or my hand or something I just lightly dusted a little bit of Mod Podge and then just sprinkled um, a little bit of gold and um, kind of clear iridescent looking glitter on there I think that adds just a little bit of uh, added touch to it but I'm actually I like the how this actually looks you know the whole kind of um, print and everything I don't know if I'll be able to use these gloves but I'm gonna try I don't like to use epoxy without having gloves on um, and these are just some cheap ones but I did go ahead this is two um, batches of because usually I think well I'm gonna say this I, I call a batch like five and five five of the clear and then five of the hardener so normally when I do um, like this one right here and my other one I just did five mls or five cc's a teaspoon of each one but this one I made with 10 just because um, I don't know I just thought maybe with this cup I might need a little bit more this is going to be a little bit harder for me because I don't have the turner. I'm going to have to rely on using my hands. I tried to find something that I could use um, that I could kind of conjure up like I did before. And I had this little roller right here, but it's actually too heavy on the end. So I'm just going to rely on using my fingers to kind of turn this. So I'm getting ready to show you. I'm going to put down the first coat. Or the first layer of epoxy and I have not decided yet if I am going to um, monogram this or not I guess I'm to use this finger instead that one's already got dried epoxy on it so I have not decided if I'm going to monogram this with anything yet I'll just kind of see how it goes and then I'll decide how it looks on the first go round. But again, I am really happy about how this pattern turned out. It's really pretty. Uh, I know that there are other videos out there where, you know, people have some much prettier designs than um this one that i've done but you know i think for my first time until i can get the hang of how to use that alcohol ink and the you know i'm sure there's a technique a little bit of a technique on how to use it um this one's okay for now this one will do okay and i don't want to put too much on here because the more epoxy you use then def it, it causes it to run more and since I have to hand turn this I don't want a whole lot on here I want a very thin even coat and again I use my finger because that just kind of helps me um, smooth it out a little bit and um, making sure that it's even 
all the way around because see it feels like right in here there may be more on this side than on the other side so I kind of have to keep my eye on this I'll be busy trying to turn this for about the next um, hour or so because <laughs> um, you have to really keep turning this and I think that's just some glitter. I didn't put it Mod Podge on the top. Um, I just Mod Podged on the bottom. So normally with um, whenever you glitter something like this, you'll do a coat of Mod Podge. Put the glitter on there, kind of let it dry, and then you'll put another coat of Mod Podge on top of that to make sure that the glitter is adhered to the cup. But I didn't do that, so I can kind of see a few um, spots where... The glitter has kind of moved a little bit. But I'm going to do more than one coat on here. So I think that will be okay. But there is the first coat of um, epoxy on there. And you can see that in the light. How pretty is that? That is going to be gorgeous once you get maybe one more coat of epoxy on there. Okay, everybody. I'm back. And... Um, it's been a few days actually, um, cause I've actually been making a couple other things in between doing this. Um, but I want to show you this part. This is the first, um, and there's a little nick right there. I don't know how that happened and I probably should have tried to cover that up, but I got kind of lazy. I didn't feel like, um, I was making some t-shirts. <laughs> so you would think that I would have cut this out of my Cricut, but what I decided to do was. I went to um, Hobby Lobby and they had a bunch of like stuff on sale and I used a lot of these um, with my Bible journal also so um, even though I didn't use them on here I can use them in there as well um, so I got I saw these and I thought oh that would kind of be cute because this reminds me a little bit of just I don't know the sky I did you know as you can see the glitter and everything that I put on there really pretty so I put those on here, and they're not too thick. They barely stick up from um, the container. So I think my epoxy will do okay with that. I'm hoping. I did not put any um, my podge or anything like that over it. I'm just going to epoxy it, and I hope that it doesn't mess up anything. So we're going to see how this works. So I'm putting my fingers in here so I can kind of turn this a little bit. I really um, may have to wind up <laughs> um, investing in a rotisserie. But, and I only made one batch this time because the last time I actually had too much. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I will epoxy this twice just to make sure that this is covered okay and that seems to be covering that up really good um, I do know I probably will definitely need um, two coats and I'm going to make sure I cover this part up first um, just to make sure that I have enough I want to make sure this gets covered even if nothing else on here gets covered I want to make sure this does okay and I've actually watched a couple of videos where people use their 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 fingers to do the epoxy and I think you can use like baby wipes or something like that to get it off but uh, again I just prefer I definitely like to use my fingers but I don't want that epoxy on there I don't even like getting it on my fingers when I'm opening the container I don't even like to do that Okay, 
so it was it was enough you don't need very much so what I think I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and put both of um, before I come back on the next video I'll probably just go ahead and do both of my coats of epoxy and I'll um, show you me peeling everything off and then it should be the final um, the final project okay but there is one you can actually see how shiny it is now there's one coat of epoxy over the letters okay so I'll let this dry um, for several hours several hours hours several hours maybe even 24 that's what I have been doing it takes so long to do that um, and then I'll do another coat and then like I said I'll come back and show you me peeling off the tape hopefully that will work and the finished product okay everybody I'm back to try to finish up on this tutorial um, I am just ready for this to be done I'm gonna be completely honest with you this um, has taken quite a bit of time so I'm gonna give you a few little tips but I want to go through this really quickly this is um, and I hope you can see that because it's actually at nighttime now um, the finish bottle I've already pulled off the top I don't really like that I think I should have gone all the way up instead of you know I taped off this part right here because there was a line right there so I kind of wish I would have done that um, and as you can see, there were several layers of tape down here at the bottom, and I've already pulled off um, part of the top layer of that. And you can see how this has, um, it's, it's soaked in. You can even see that, I don't know if you can, right there. But um, <clears throat> some quick things. Uh, one of the main things I want to tell you about this and see it did the alcohol did soak all the way through that masking tape. I don't know if you could see that little bit right there. Um, do not do this if you are in a hurry. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm just kind of ready to go ahead and get it done. This is not even dry all the way yet. Um, I don't want to break my nails. Um, it's not even dry all the way yet. It takes a long time to cure. I'm hoping that maybe with some alcohol I can get this off the bottom of this um, bottle. So you might want to, I think I had like two or three layers on there. You might want to go with about five um, because as you can see the alcohol ink, it did soak through that masking tape or maybe not get a paper masking tape you know maybe get something else I'm not quite sure some maybe a little bit more industrialized um, and maybe that'll keep it from soaking through a little bit but I'm having to use my exacto knife to get some of this part off it's still pretty tacky right now well not really tacky it just has not dry cured yet and I can't cut this. See, it's still pliable to where I can't cut this with my um, X-Acto knife to get this um, where the epoxy, you know, kind of ran down. Um, since I don't have one of those rotisseries, you know, I wasn't able to sit here and, you know, turn it um, like I needed to the entire time. So... Um, there were times where it just had to kind of sit upright and the epoxy got down it was it's only on the tape though I don't think it got down on the actual um, it didn't get all the way down to the actual tumbler itself okay that might take a little bit of work of me getting that off but I like the way it turned out and the one of the crazy things about this I, I noticed today because I put actually the last the uh, second coat on top of this today I plan on doing another one of those fabric tumblers and I went to Joann's maybe about a week or two ago and this excuse me this is the fabric that I bought I think this is really pretty 
And then I noticed today that, wow, you know, how did I manage to actually alcohol ink almost the exact same thing? It looks almost the same. And I didn't even realize this. I just saw this um, today because um, I had it stashed away somewhere. So as you can see, it turns out really pretty. I do. I like it. I think it's going to be. Um, it's definitely something that I would want to try again. It takes technique. And like I think I was saying a minute ago, I know I got kind of sidetracked because I'm trying to hurry. I don't want this to be any longer than what it needs to be. Um, is you need to give yourself plenty of time to do this. Um, it takes a while for this to cure. Um, I believe the directions say several days depending on the like the temperature of the room. I don't have an incubator or anything like that. I think if it's like 90 degrees, it takes a few days. Um, I'll show you the insert in just a little bit. I'm trying to get as much as this tape off that I can. I may not be able to get all of it off um, for the video, but I'll try to show you at the end um, a few pictures. And this is the actual front. So I will have to, um, goodness, I got stuff all over my nails. Um, cut this off a little bit more be a little bit more careful going around here some more of that needs to be cut and again it's still pliable I think where I can cut it a little bit it's not rock hard yet it's still pretty soft so I can cut that off but all in all it's pretty um, and I think this is kind of the same technique people use when they make um, the glitter tumblers and everything like that. So uh, I do want to visit it again and try it again. But I'm going to show you the little excerpt here, um, the directions from the company. And down here at the bottom, let me see if I can focus that in where you can see it in the light. But you can see how it says, um, mine is only dust, probably dust free right about now because it's been several hours. I put this on when I got home, probably about mm, 12, 30, 1 o'clock, somewhere around in there. And it's about 7 or 8 o'clock now. So we're just at the dust free, <laughs> just the dust free zone. So it will take several days. Um, anywhere from two to three days to um, for this to hard cure probably so if you're gonna make this for somebody then I would just highly suggest you start several days in advance if someone asks you on Monday and they want it by Saturday I would go ahead and start on it that day um, to make sure that everything is nice and hard um, and it's been sanded down once this gets dry you uh, have to go through here and fill and make sure it's all nice and I can touch it with my hand right now so it is hard to touch it's just not all the way dry yet so very pretty all the nice sparkles so thank you for watching the video I apologize for it being so lengthy but I did want to show the entire um, process um, please make sure you subscribe and click the like button and share if you would be so kind and leave comments down below. Thank you and as always be blessed.